Let's take stock from Shobha developers as to where is it that they are seeing their uh, quarter gone by and of course what lies ahead as well. Uh, Jagdish N, the MD at Sobha, joins in on the show right now. Jagdish, great to have you on the show. Thank, thank you so much for taking the time out and joining in. Uh, your pre-sales itself had hit a record high in the second quarter. They've touched about 3,200 crore rupees, as we understand, so far in the fiscal. What are your expectations with regards to what we could see post the festive season and whether or not uh, you would say that your pre-sales growth guidance of 15 to 20% would be a bit conservative. Would you look to up it then? Thank you, Aisha. Uh, you're right. We have been uh, growing pretty well in the last uh, few uh, quarters. In fact, this is the ninth straight quarter in which we have done better than the previous quarter in terms of pre-sales. Uh, and in the first half has been uh, pretty phenomenal. Uh, we did about 61% of what we did already did last year, uh, which was about 5,200 crores. So, uh, and considering that we could achieve this with uh, without any new launches, it's uh, uh, we have done a phen phenomenal team, and it also underscores the uh, robust economic and the residential demand environment that we have. So, uh, going forward, we should be more optimistic, but we typically do not give as such a guidance, and hence. Uh, uh, any any revision, if it, if anything comes over and above that, that be a uh, that will be fantastic for us. Yeah, hopeful you'll be able to beat that estimated guided mark, right? Uh, we we certainly work towards uh, anything better than what we already uh, uh, promised. Okay, but talk to us about what could be the way to do that. Uh, what's the plan in terms of the launches that is lined up? Which areas are you targeting? Are you looking at the luxury space? Because that's seeing uh, quite a bit of traction right now. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, we, In the financial year, we plan to have uh, about six to seven million square feet of uh, new launches. In the first two quarters, like I said, we didn't have any new launches, but uh, the next uh, uh, two quarters and the remaining five months of this financial year, we do hope that we can catch up. In fact, we launched our first uh, project last month, October, um, in Bangalore, one of our largest projects, Shobha Neopolis. Uh, that's uh, That started doing well. So in the coming uh, five months, we should be able to do another two and a half to three and a half million square feet. And if you're able to do that, these launches will be able to provide us uh, the next leg of impetus in terms of uh, pre-sales. Follow up. And in terms of the and in terms of the geographical markets, we have uh, these plans uh, uh, across the board, which is both in uh, in Bangalore, in other cities that we have, uh, which is in uh, Kerala uh, as a region, uh, Gurgaon, and in uh, Gif City. Follow up there. Uh, you said six to seven uh, million square feet is what you have lined up, and I think earlier you talked about seven to eight million. So, um, is there any delay in getting approvals? Because I understand Bangalore was the challenge with respect to some of the approvals. Is that the reason you are scaling it down? And also, what could be the revenue potential of the six to seven million square feet? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're right. Uh, we could have done uh, better than uh, what we had envisaged. Uh, so, uh, as you all know, the real estate it's a it's a uh, the all the approvals are. Uh, uh, based on the local uh, city government or the state uh, subject. So in Karnataka, we had a we had elections and there have been changes in the uh, in in the government and it it has definitely led to few uh, few weeks of delay in in terms of approvals and that just pushes on some of them into the next uh, financial year. Uh, so that's about it. But other than that, uh, we we expect to do a majority of what we have uh, planned. Uh, morning, Jagdish. What's the outlook on Bangalore then as a percentage of the regional sales mix? Because that has declined from about 63% in FY23 to about 54%. Other regions have grown quite significantly. So what is your expectation or outlook on the sales mix and in particular for Bangalore? Yeah, it's been, uh, in fact, it's very positive that uh, all our uh, other regions, uh, apart from Bangalore, have started contributing really well. As a as a uh, strategy, we had be, we had diversified into several other cities. We are present in twelve cities uh, for a long time, and uh, finally, some of those uh, investments have started paying off really well, and we are very happy about it. 
uh, at the same time, they, the majority of the new launches that we are expecting, they are going to be uh, based in Bangalore, at least this financial year. So we, we should expect the contribution from Bangalore uh, to be uh, higher again in the, in the second half. Enough. And what about the NCR region? Because projects by some several noted developers have been sold out within a few hours and days of their launch. Do you believe that this market is now looking a little bit overheated? Do you think that demand over here could temper just a tad? Uh, we have been seeing extremely good demand in our projects in NCR as well. And in fact, uh, we had our flagship project, Shoba City, in uh, NCR, and we just completed the entire sale of that last uh, last month. So, uh, and and we are looking forward to new launches in NCR too. We, I, I think that the uh, uh, fundamentally there are very few cities in India which uh, are benefiting from the economic growth and corresponding migration. And NCR being one of them, of course, Bangalore and the other like uh, Hyderabad, Pune, uh, Chennai, and some of the other cities also benefit from it. But NCR is one of the uh, biggest beneficiary. So uh, we, in the long term, we think that there is a lot of potential there and uh, we will continue to invest there. To ask about you know your dad because as you're looking to expand into newer geographies and you know uh, more and more land parcel acquisition is coming into play, how do you think your dad is going to pan out uh, for the rest of the year? Uh, uh, Ayesha, we are very happy to inform that for the twelfth straight quarter we have uh, we have generated positive uh, cash flow and uh, we reduced our debt from almost peak of about uh, three thousand fifty crores to about fourteen forty crores. This was a conscious decision that we have taken to deliver ourselves uh, to provide, in fact, uh, impetus to the growth that we can see in the future. Uh, and now, uh, since majority of our projects which we have invested in the past and they are coming to fruition now and the cash flows seem to be robust, we think that uh, we will be able to use these cash flows both for uh, continued debt reduction and also uh, whenever wherever we see good uh, investment opportunities, we can cater to that. Sector question, because right now all of these real estate stocks are seeing fresh highs, a lot of momentum there. Uh, the question is how long can this cycle really continue? Because it's been at least two to three years since the COVID times that we have seen quite a bit of strong uh, demand trend. Of course, it can't go on forever. So what's your sense in terms of where are we in the cycle? Well, it entirely depends on how our economic growth is. If if the economic growth is uh, continues to be very strong, uh, if it has to lead to job creation and job creation, majority of it is happening in the tier one and metro cities. And if and, and that will definitely lead to migration. Migration will lead to increase in re, uh, requirement of homes. Currently, the, uh, the homes uh, availability in major in a lot of cities is uh, feeling a lot. Uh, I mean, there, there is a demand supply mismatch and that's uh, clearly visible first in terms of rentals and that's uh, and, and and correspondingly now we can see it in the in in uh, uh, real estate purchases also so this if the economic uh, growth sustains uh, i think uh, the demand scenario also should sustain um, you know, Shaktesh, what I also wanted to discuss, I mean, I know while real estate is a very area specific within city also kind of a market, especially that's the case in Mumbai. But purely from yes. an investment perspective, which market do you think is still undervalued and has scope for appreciation? Well, I think uh, real estate is both a consumption and investment uh, product. So, uh, uh, and any investment product, you got to see long-term uh, uh, horizon. And if I look at it, then uh, uh, all the metro cities, I think, are still uh, very capable of uh, uh, giving good returns uh, in the, in the longer term. Uh, because, like I said, the underlying fundamentals is that there is going to be sustained increase in demand due to uh, migration and job creation. So you're saying across the country, um, you know, one could look at investing in real estate anywhere and in the long haul, it's going to show an appreciation. I'm sure there's some market which is more lucrative than the other, right? 
Yeah, I mean that you can clearly see where there are rental yields are higher. We are seeing rental yields to be higher in uh, more than what it used to be uh, in uh, in Bangalore and in Chennai and in uh, some locations in Hyderabad and Pune as well. So I am uh, so in South market definitely rental yields have been historically been higher, and uh, in NCR also NCR has historically been low uh, rental yield market, but uh, there also it seems to be that uh, the yields have been higher than the historical uh, uh, yields. So uh, I think uh, again, that's a big demand supply mismatch. So it, it's very tough to say whether one market versus other market, but if you're going for a rental yield, definitely South market seem to be good. More Jagdish on this, but you talked about job creation and all of that. And if I look at the data, IT uh, sector jobs are actually coming down. They're cutting down on their jobs on a year on year basis. Startups um, aren't hiring as much as they used to. Of course, there's a bit of a uh, funding winter there as well. So, is there a case that this uh, will impact the demand on a lag basis? Uh, because we are hearing that job is actually a problem right now. Well, uh, if you take uh, some of the cities like Bangalore, Pune, Hyderabad, so these cities will continue to generate uh, jobs. Uh, I, I'm not an expert in terms of the other tech sectors. Yes, there there would be there there is some kind of stress in 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 terms of job creation there, but I uh, we believe that's uh, temporary and. Uh, uh, giving it leading indicators, what we are seeing on the ground from a real estate sales point of view, that the the interest from the customer seems to be continue to be very strong. Uh, are we uh, we think that uh, hopefully it should be uh, a temporary phenomena, and uh, if like I said, it should follow the economic growth. If the economic growth and we are expecting it to be really good, that has to lead to uh, job creation. Have you on board? Thank you for taking time out and joining in and giving us a viewpoint on how the overall um, momentum is picking up and good luck for the coming quarters. All right, what's Thanks. going on with the markets then? And Soba, of course, is up and away in today's trading session from the broader markets then and giving it 